This handsome man is wearing a traditional black tux with a snappy, you can call it Carolina blue, you can call it baby blue, you can call it Columbia blue or Citadel blue. It's a vest and bow tie. He does not have a broken wrist, so he will be able to help the models up the steps. This tux is from the Thread Shed. Looks fantastic. All right, our first uh, category will be casual wear. And I think the way this is going to work, it'll be a little bit different. I think we have three lovely models that'll be coming to the runway. And the first one, I'm going to need you to take a very close look at the outfit. Judy Barnhart, this outfit is from the Stitchin' Post. What is she wearing? You get a good look at this? Those are the tops off of drink cans. It is a tank dress, jewelry, and a handbag made out of pop tops crocheted together by a Brazilian cooperative made up of 18 ladies, most of whom cannot read or write. But they're taught to create beautiful garments, purses, belts, and jewelry out of recycled pop tops to make a living in a safe environment for their struggling families. You can help make the world a better place by purchasing fair trade items. The shoes that Judy's wearing are by Onyx. That is her only accessory that is not a pop top. Just don't go to the airport wearing that. <laughs> Judy Barnhart, that is from the Stitching Post. Deb Young. Deb Young is making her way up. She has an outfit also from the Stitching Post. I think, are we going to introduce Dr. David Smith later? But that's him helping out Deb Young right there. Yes, we do have him later coming up. Not now. For a fun weekend look, here is a great crinkle top by Yes. Deb's top features a crisscross back and a red top flares out for easy movement. Notice on the side it shows a touch of tattoo design. Deb's pants are from Lisette, probably. The control top pull-on pull pants are famous for their comfort. Lisette, as seen on the Today Show, a favorite of who? Hada and Kathy Lee. It's another network. I don't know who this is. I don't know these people. It's great for work or play. Deb's necklace is a teardrop with crystal cluster by Zinzi. Her handbag by Brighton picks up the reds and blacks in her sexy outfit. Stitch and Post, Deb Young. Our next look also comes from the Stitch and Post in downtown Salisbury, Sarah Walser. It feels like summer, and this is one of summer's hottest looks. Sarah is wearing a crop sweater by Yes with shades of gray and a floral pattern which features ribbon accents. Her boyfriend jeans are by True Lux. True Lux jeans fit real women without the dreaded muffin top. It gets better. The jeans come up higher for women who like the butt bling, not the crack attack. <laughs> Jewelry is by Zinsi, and her glitter shoes are by Tom's. For every pair purchased, a pair is given to a child in need, one for one. Sarah Walser and the Stitching Post provided that outfit. All right, let's go to Attractions on Main for this next outfit. Joanne Steele. Joanne has to look no further than right here in Salisbury at Attractions on Main to find great sportswear for any budget. White denim, French dressing jeans, along with a multicolored aqua green and white cotton jacket. The jacket is zip front and tie, complemented with silver buttons on the sleeves. She paired it up nicely with an aqua v-neck beaded tank. Bold aqua and silver dropped earrings and silver bangles are just the perfect jewelry selection. Joanne also found an aqua pair of hmm, Heaviana sandals at Attractions on Main to top her look off. Joanne Steele, and again, that is from Attractions on Main.
Up next, the lovely Julie Emanuel. Her outfit from Attractions on Main. Julie, ready for her cruise in this nautical look. She got it from Attractions on Main. It features rich navy knit pants, so comfortable, along with a super soft knit nautical jacket with three-quarter length cuff sleeves, a double-breasted look accented with silver buttons. The yellow knit top gives a great pop to her outfit. The necklace, earrings, and bracelet are all accented with sand dollars, starfish, shells, and pearls. It is a great outfit for the cruise or for the beach, either way. And it's a great outfit for Julie Manuel from Attractions on May. Here comes my buddy Melissa Taylor from Attractions on Main. Melissa always rocks it. She is wearing splashes of yellow and black against white. It makes a colorful statement on this cutout jacket Melissa got from Attractions on Main. These cutout jeans are nice and cool for summertime. Melissa is wearing her jacket along with a dainty beaded v-neck black tank along with these wonderful stretchy black denim capris. The capris are oh so slimming and have hip elastic waist for comfort. She chose a black and silver twisted necklace set to go with this sporty casual outfit from Attractions on Main. Melissa Taylor. And every year it's a treat to see Bonzi Everson and here she is again. She has an outfit from Ann's. Bonzi is wearing an outfit that can take you to any dressy or casual event that you may be invited to this spring. This pink sheer jacket and tank set with leopard print has just the right amount of sparkle and shine. If you love something covering your arms but need it to be a lightweight fabric, this ensemble is for you. Paired with a black point knit crop with rhinestone zipper trim and matching accessories, take special note, special note, of her gorgeous Brighton handbag. It's in the color pewter. Bonzi, you look fantastic as always. That uh, outfit is from Ann's. Let's bring up Regina Mullinex and her outfit also from Ann's. This is her first time out here on this runway or catwalk or thing platform. Regina is showing us the perfect casual attire for a pool party or wedding on the beach. She's wearing a maxi dress. That means her dress flows to the ankle. The dress is great on all body types. Dresses are making a huge comeback this season. And although the designers think ladies have toned arms, don't worry. Ants has a lot of wonderful shrugs and jackets to cover up those arms. We're all afraid to show. Don't on it. <laughs> Paired with matching accessories and a handbag from Brighton, Regina is ready for a day of comfort and fun. So give her a little applause first time out, Regina Mullinex. <laughs> and again, this outfit is from Ants, and so is the outfit you're going to see here in a moment, modeled by Dolores Thomas. Dolores is modeling one of the hottest styles for summer from Ann's. This is called, are you ready for this? The Cha-Cha Dress. This dress is available in many colors and prints. It looks flattering on every body type, any age. Her sleeveless dress is paired with a cropped denim jacket that is sure to be a staple in any girl's wardrobe. Matching accessories and white leggings complete her look. That is Dolores Thomas, and that outfit is from Ann's. from Ann's. Nothing beats the comfort of great fitting jean capris and a good white knit top. Modeling the perfect shopping outfit, 
Jane Hartzell shows how a simple navy and white scarf, matching handbag, and get this, matching iPad cover from Spartina 449 can bring an entirely new look to your basics. Spartina 449 is the newest addition at Ann's. The company is based out of Hilton Head, South Carolina, and the proceeds from each item sold is donated to the preservation of Defusky Island. See, that one I knew. Thank you, Jane. That is a wonderful look from Jane Hartzell, the outfit from Ann's. Let's go to Belk here in Salisbury. Miriam Roy, get a good look. This is a shorts and shirt set by Red Camel. That's appropriate. Today is hump day. Anyway, the shorts are cotton and spandex with pockets. She's adding a striped shirt with a lace neckline and blue and khaki stripes to complete this outfit. Miriam is ready for a day of fun and relaxation. And again, that is Miriam Roy, and this outfit is from Belk, right here in Salisbury at the mall. Oh, you're going to like this. Here comes Thatcher Monroe. Check it out. Thatcher is ready for a day on the golf course, or maybe the putt-putt. He's wearing a three-piece short set by Good Lad Apparel. He's wearing a white polo shirt with a light green sweater and striped shorts. He's ready to score a hole-in-one. But get this, Thatcher is a very active young man. He is a Cub Scout. And Thatcher, you're a brown belt in karate. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. Well, they say little girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice and ruffles and flowers and bows. And look at Lawson Bill working it. Lawson has just the right combination of flowers and ruffles and bows in her sleeveless top in bright spring colors. Lime green leggings complete the ensemble. What a great outfit for the beach or the pool. Lawson Deal, that outfit came from Belt. Let's have some more Deal, shall we? This is Ellery Deal, her outfit also from Belt. Wow. What are some things that make a summer day perfect? Well, you're looking at it. Flip-flops, kites, balls, ice cream cones, and watermelon. All these and many more on Ellery's top. They give her lots of ideas of how to spend her summer. The pink and lime striped leggings are a perfect match. Have fun, Ellery Bill. And again, that outfit is from Bell. Very nice. Let's go back downtown. Maya's Fashions. And this is Maria Weber. Maria is modeling a stunning turquoise blue stretch dress suitable for a patio party or a night at the beach. It is custom made by Maya and accessorized with a unique zipper belt created from recycled zippers. This outfit is completed with an amazing hat to give you that celebrity look and to protect your face from the summer sun. Modeled by Maria Weber, this outfit, one of a kind, Maya's Fashions. Here is Megan Braun. Hey, Megan. Good to see you. Megan's a very active, uh, very aware young lady, does a lot of good things in the community, but I'm off topic. Walking out onto the runway, Megan in a dashing hot pink dress, also specially designed by Maya. Soft and stretchy cotton will give you comfort. You can wear this outfit to a day at the beach or a cocktail party in the evening. As you notice, zipper straps give the dress a hip look and a unique personality. It's accessorized with a fabulous hat and custom jewelry worn just perfectly by Megan Braun. And it came from Maya's downtown. Now here's one you don't see every day. Nicholas. 
There he is. Check it out. This is Nicholas Goodman from Rowan County's Emergency Services. <laughs> Nicholas is wearing the Class A outfit for Rowan County EMS. It's a long sleeve white dress shirt with the Rowan County EMS patch sewn on one shoulder and his paramedic certification patch on the other shoulder. He is wearing, wait, not so fast. He is wearing his Class A dress pants and a tie to complete this professional look. All of these uniform pieces are available at the Thread Shed. The Thread Shed also embroiders the everyday uniform polo shirts with the EMS logo and the employee's name and rank modeled by Nicholas Goodman. Thank you, Nicholas. Our next category, Dressy Casual. Now, the lady was wearing pop tops just a few minutes ago. She's made the change. Judy Barnhart's outfit is from the Stitching Post, and she's wearing one of this year's hottest colors, Tango Tangerine, in a soft flowing top by Tribal. It has a scoop neckline so flattering for any figure, the top looks great on any body type. Judy wears skinny pants by Tribal, but jeans or leggings would work for a more casual look. The colorful wedge shoes by Tom's pulls the whole outfit together. Tom's has donated over a million pairs of shoes to children in need, including right here in the United States. And again, that's Judy Barnhart. That outfit is from the Stitchin' and Post in downtown Salisbury. Deb Young is making her way back up to the runway. Deb's outfit, also from the Stitch and Post. Deb is ready for Cabo in this indie-inspired outfit from Kate. Her Mediterranean blue top is embroidered and has a pointed side hem. Deb's white linen pants with wide legs gives that soft flow style, just right for the evening pool party. As the sun sets, Deb can roll up her sun hat and store it in her handbag. Look at that. There it goes, and it's gone. Almost. Deb's jewelry and handbag are from Bright. The indie style bracelet and her Milan straw handbag are perfect accessories for her gorgeous outfit, modeled so well by Deb and I. Stitch and Post. <laughs> I really like this tux, and so thanks again, but I'm fighting the urge to go around and ask if you want any more tea or water. <laughs> Sarah Walser. This uh, uh, outfit also from the Stitching Post. <coughs> Leggings are still strong this summer. Wear them with a tunic top or a short dress. Sarah wears a ruffle lined soft pink tank dress from Yes, and she adds a soft gray sweater with a delicate ribbon edging. It's great for work and play. Sarah's fun, chunky link chain necklace is by Zinzi. Her bracelets bring out all the colors of her outfit. The shoes and the handbag are from Brighton. The outfit itself is from Stitch and Post, and it's modeled by Sarah Walser. <laughs> Julie Manuel is on the way back. Julie's outfit comes from Attractions on Main. If you haven't noticed, yellow is definitely making a fashion statement this year. This circle design glimmer jacket will catch everyone's eye everywhere you go in it. And did we mention how good it feels on? Julie has accompanied this beautiful glimmer jacket with a yellow knit top and black silky pants. Notice her jewelry she picked out to pair with the outfit. A silver and black link necklace set, a uh, silver and black link necklace set, and a bold silver and black cuff, and it's all from Attractions on Main. Thank you, Julie. You may not know this, but Attractions on Main has been involved here for 20 years. So to celebrate that, Melissa Taylor is making another fashion statement. Melissa has shopped at Attractions on Main for years and has found yet another beautiful outfit there. These summer off-white slacks... Oh, these summer off-white slacks... That's better. 
are lined with partial side elastic for comfort. The striking blouse has a layered lace bodice with crinkly trumpet sleeves. You can blow your own horn in those. The rhinestone necklace is a diamond-shaped crystal encompassed in a circle design with earrings to match. It's a stunning outfit from Attractions on Main. Melissa. <laughs> Joanne Steele has paid a visit to Attractions on Main. Now she's going to visit our runway again. Looking for an outfit for dinner at the club? Look no further. Here it is. Joanne found this one at Attractions on Main. Sleek, slinky, and smooth. That's alliteration, friends. It's the perfect description for Joanne's look. Comfortable, easy to care for. This will become your favorite outfit to wear. Joanne complements this ensemble with a three-tier drop corded necklace earring set. Notice the pop of color the jewelry gives to this ensemble. This all comes from Attractions on Main, modeled by Joanne Steele. Let's go back to Belk in the Salisbury Mall and Miriam Roy. This dress that Miriam has is by As You Wish. She's wearing a soft spring print and has added a brown belt to complete the look. It's easy wear. It's a flattering effect for such a pretty young lady. And we're talking about Miriam Roy. And again, this outfit comes from Belk in the Salisbury Mall. Good job, Miriam. Thank you. Let's go back to Anne's and Bonzi Everson. Ladies, I'm told, ruffles are everywhere this year. Everywhere you look, there's ruffles. I like the ones that have the sour cream and uh, the dip. Bonzi's wearing a black and white ruffle top with a high-waisted belt for the accent. Those ruffles add flair to a not-so-ordinary top. The high-waisted belt accents Bonzi's waist and looks great, paired with a wide leg pant. Her accessories and her handbag are both from Brighton. They are available from Anne's in Concord. That is Bonzi Everson. Here comes Regina Mullinax, her outfit also from Anne's. Now get this. She is wearing the company that dresses Miss America each year. Regina is showing us an uh, off-the-shoulder print silk top from Joseph Ribkoff. While our shoulders are a body part that are always safe to show, <laughs> this top looks fashionable with its one strap shoulder. The top is accented with a stretched Brighton belt and flowy black pants. Paired with a matching long necklace and bracelet in coral, Regina looks fabulous, and she has our vote for next year's pageant. This outfit is from Ames. And John Lakey is here from the Salisbury Post, and we'll see if we can get him to take a twirl. No? <laughs> Dolores Thomas has an outfit from Ann's. Ladies, I'm telling you, prepare to fall in love with that jacket right there. Dolores looks stunning. It's a three-quarter length shimmer rayon jacket with an inverted back pleat. Not only is she gorgeous from the front, check out the back side. <laughs> the back view of the jacket is awesome too. Paired with a sparkle silver tank and white pant, she is carrying one of the newest handbags from Brighton. For a great selection of apparel and accessories, you can shop Ants. They are located in Concord. Modeled again by Dolores Thomas. Jane Hartzell. Jane's outfit also comes from Ann's in Concord. Are we seeing a lot of that color? It seems like it. 
Modeling a color that looks great on everybody, Jane Hartzell wearing an aqua eyelet dress. This is from a top designer named Samuel Dawn. The dress can be worn zipped or unzipped. Leggings can be added to make a more casual look. Accented with matching accessories in aqua and a Brighton handbag. All of this and more is available at Ann's in Concord. Modeled by Jane Hartzell. Okay, a little more ooing and eyeing right now. Lawsonville is bringing up an outfit from Belk. And if you think you see spots before your eyes, you're right. Lavender, brown, and lime. It's not your blood pressure. It's Lawson. This is a rare additions dress from Belk, ready for Easter Sunday or a very special birthday party. The lavender sash and the flowers at the waist make her ready for a summer day in spring, sunny day in spring. A pretty dress and a pretty girl. That is Lawson Beal. Now, Ellery has been up to something, too. Ellery is going somewhere special. How do I know that? Check it out. The bright pink flowers on her rare editions dress. Tell me so. Is it a party? Maybe that daddy-daughter dance or some other exotic event. Whatever it is, whatever the occasion is, Ellery Veal is sure to be the belle of the ball. Beautiful. And that comes from Belle. Go back out to Main Street and Julie Manuel. This is uh, an outfit from Attractions on Main. Julie looks beautiful. This is a cranberry chiffon two-piece dress. It's a double-layered dress with a ruffle and handkerchief hemline, hemline accented with an exquisite beaded bolero jacket with slightly, slightly ruffled sleeves. Julie accented her dress with a cranberry multi-crystal necklace set. Julie liked this one so well, it has a new home, her closet. She's wearing it right out of here. This is just one of the many outfits that she has been able to find at Attractions on Main. Stitching Post, downtown Salisbury, provides this outfit. Judy Barnhart does the honors. Maybe. Yeah, there she is. Simple black dress, not so simple anymore. Not the way Judy wears it. Judy's dress is by Tribal. It's accented around the neckline and down the front with stones in the summer's hottest colors, orange, red, and turquoise. The dress features a pin tuck detail around the front placket to flatter every figure. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> Judy's handbag is a black patent with a subtle snake pattern by Brighton. The shoes are by Onyx. No need to over-accessorize because the dress pretty much says it all. From Stitch and Post, Judy Barnhart. <laughs> Also from Stitch and Post, Sarah Walser. Your eyes may pop because Sarah is modeling a bubble dress. It is from Yes. Her dress has a gathered hem and features a leaf pattern in soft browns and cream. Her natural color yarn crop sweater is perfect for a cooler evening. Sarah is wearing onyx shoes in copper penny color. Her bright and tricolor leather bracelet is perfect for the young and the young at heart. Sarah Walser, the outfit from Stitch and Post. Now we're going to get formal. Here we go. He always is the center of attention. Gordon Center is wearing the traditional Englishman's gray cutaway tuxedo jacket. As you may have heard from across the pond, it is called a morning suit. 
He paired the coat with striped pants and a classic gray vest. You'll see him wearing this very formal attire with an ascot tie that tops it off. This outfit is from the thread shed. I really, were you at William and Kate's wedding? <laughs> they wouldn't let you in. You didn't have the right hat. Very nice. Gordon Center. Paging Dr. Roy. This outfit is from Threadshed. Dr. Ranjan Roy wearing an Arden tuxedo by Calvin Klein. This tux is a contemporary take on a classic design with its traditional single breast, two button coat. The satin frame self inset peak lapel really makes it stand out. His vest is by Fusion Designs from the Synergy Collection. Its slanted stripes really pop in the jade color. The tie is a long four in hand in the matching color with a small diamond pattern, and it looks very nice from the thread shed, Dr. Roy. <laughs> I told you that there are mistakes that are made up from this podium, and I left somebody out in the dressy category. Sorry. Joanne Steele, please let me make it up to you. Joanne's outfit is from Attractions on Main. Joanne is styling in a three-piece set by Joe Star from Attractions on Main. Comfortable and fun to wear anywhere. You'll love the feel of this outfit. A ruffle skirt featuring a mystery elastic waist. Is that right? A mystery elastic waist? It flows freely from this long sleeve jacket. It's coordinated with a sleeveless, slinkly, slinkly, slinky black and red chain design pattern blouse. Joanne chose this fun-looking red and silver necklace set that she just could not resist. It is from Attractions on Main, Joanne Steele. I apologize. I'm sorry. All right. Megan? Right? Megan's next? No? Jessica Roy, I'm sorry, from Maya's Fashions. Look at this outfit. Oh, yes. Spring is all about weddings. Jessica Roy and Jocelyn Mata will be perfect bridesmaids walking out in style and glamour. Jessica's dress is mermaid shaped and accessorized with silver beading and embroidery. Jocelyn is modeling the dress custom created by Maya for her North Carolina pageant. Look no more. Maya's Fashions has it all for these special occasions. Beautiful. Thank you. has for us again. This is another outfit from Maya's. Modeling this beautiful ice blue cocktail dress. Megan Braun. The dress is detailed with floral sequins and sparkles. Perfect for a prom. You can accessorize this gorgeous dress with rhinestone jewelry and astonishing heels. That's not the name brand. That's the adjective. Astonishing heels. All offered by Maya's Fashions. Maya's Fashions offering such brand names as Giovanni, Reba Designs, Sparkle, and a whole lot more. Modeled here by Megan Braun. <laughs> also with an outfit from Maya's, this is Madison Brown. This is Madison modeling Maya's 2012 prom line. This particular dress is designed with beautiful roses featuring ruched bodice, brushed, anyway, and a mermaid cut. The fabric is hot pink. It will really make you stand out in the crowd. You can accessorize with gorgeous jewelry and you may be the queen of the prom. You can find this prom dress and a lot more at Maya's Fashions in downtown Salisbury. Way to go. Way to take care of that. Good work. <laughs> Mary 
Scott Norris. Mary Scott's outfit is from Maya's. Please meet Mary Scott. We're going to call this the Oh So Stunning Evening Gown. This dress is a fashion statement. Black and white design, contrast colors, two-dimensional skirt will not leave you unnoticed. Wear it going to a party or a ball or the prom. In addition to your fashion needs, Maya's is now offering natural anti-aging products. This woman is actually 83 years old. You can find samples and brochures at the tables. All products available after the show. That's Mary Scott Norris. Kimberly Murray. Here she comes. This dress helped its owner to win the North Carolina pageant in the 1980s. And get this, was sitting in her closet for 32 years. Inspired by recycling movement designer Maya Smith, she transformed this dress to a cocktail party outfit. Kimberly's dress is designed with tons of gorgeous white sequins, flapper style pocket design, accessorized with a recycled belt as well. Definitely, this is a one of a kind look, no doubt about that. Find this unique style and others at Maya's Fashions. Kimberly Murray. <laughs> Devin, this is Devin Puckett, and here is the bride. This is a real bride-to-be. Her wedding is April the 19th. Now get this. This astonishing wedding dress is recycled and was worn in the 80s by her mother-in-law. Maya worked her magic and transformed this fashion statement from the 80s to a one-of-a-kind dress for today. It's a dream dress for Devin. The ruffles represent not only style and fashion, but they hold memories and love. Created at Maya's Fashions. Devin Puckett. All right, let's see what Thatcher's got for us. He was working it pretty good last time. Yeah, he's looking good. Thatcher, this outfit is from Belk. It's a beige Izod suit for his going out on the town or maybe that important business meeting. He's, he's chosen a long sleeve sky blue shirt and striped tie. He's ready for church or a special celebration. That is a handsome young man. That is Thatcher Monroe, and his outfit is from Belk. Okay, here he comes. You've been seeing him all along, but now we need to give him his actual due. Make your way up to the runway, David Smith. David Smith's outfit is from the thread shed. He's wearing a vest and tie designed by Gene Yves from the Cooper Collection. It features a vertical white, uh, a vertical white stripe on a beautiful gold color. David is keeping it classy, as always. He's pairing it with this bow tie to match the vest. This ensemble is great to brighten up your spring wardrobe, modeled just wonderfully by David Smith. And it's from the French here. Mackenzie. This is Mackenzie Fisher. Her outfit is from a perfect dress. They tell me that black is always in fashion, but this dress has an added touch. Iridescent beaded trim on one shoulder and accented with a jeweled waist. The jersey knit fabric makes the dress fit in all the right places, it says here, and flows into a gourd panel that forms the hemline sweep. Mackenzie, you can't go wrong when you wear that perfect black dress. A perfect dress is the place to find your perfect black dress, modeled by Mackenzie Fisher. All right, let's see what some of the guys have for us. This is Andy Austin modeling this outfit from Thread Shed. 
I told him I really like the color of that vest and that tie. Andy's wearing an Auburn tux by Chaps, Ralph Lauren. It is a modern designed tuxedo with a traditional black notch lapel and two button coat. It stands out from all the other black tuxedos with that satin gross grain lapel. The vest and tie are also designed. Wow. There's a whole other paragraph i got to get to. <laughs> it's designed by Ralph Lauren, the Vineyard Collection. The color is watermelon. It's a gorgeous spring ensemble. The vest features a small diamond detail pattern, while his long tie features the same color and alternating diamond detail to striping. Andy Austin! <laughs> We can't just cut these stories short. That's what we do in the news. <laughs> Allison Murphy, this outfit is from a perfect dress. Ivory and gold together says something regal. Straight from the runways of New York and Milan, this dress flows gracefully with yards of ivory and abstract gold Tiffany chiffon. The gold beaded bodice forms a halter neck, creating a dramatic look to a dynamic dress. Fun to wear, comfortable. Allison will feel beautiful and elegant at any red carpet affair. Allison Murphy. Let's go back to the thread shed and see what Jared is cooking up for us. Jared is wearing a Savoy design by Jean Yves, or possibly Jean, I don't know. Traditional single breast, two button tux with a modernized satin trim outline notch lapel. You'll be sure to pop. <laughs> in this stunning gray color. The best is also from Jean or Jean. It's a design from the Lido collection in a gorgeous color that is a word I've never seen before. I thought it was purple. It's <laughs> apparently cerise, right? Um, anyway, it's a modern four-button design paired with a color-matching long paisley tie. Jared Mathis, thread shader. <laughs> All right, let's go to the prom with Brianna Brinkley. Her outfit is from a perfect dress. They make a good couple. Look at that. It looks like a prom couple. Sweet and peachy are just a few words to describe this papaya dress. Soft chiffon fabric drapes gracefully to a jeweled one shoulder and peekaboo waist. The new color and sophisticated design add to its simplicity and femininity. A for sure second glance dress is a great way to dance the night away. Have fun, Brianna. This is a perfect dress, and that's where it came from. Brianna Brinkley. Also, just right for the prom, this is another outfit from a perfect dress modeled by Grace Fazio. Grace looks refreshing in this lemon chiffon charmeuse dress. The fit and flare dress has a beautiful beaded bodice and neckline. The dramatic back continues to form a back panel that flows softly to the hemline. Grace will leave the crowd speechless when she enters or exits a room. I don't know what to say now. Grace, your name expresses your look in this dress. And again, this is from a perfect dress. From a perfect dress, check this out. Trish Brinkley, here she comes. Just like the card says, wow! Trish, Trish looks amazing in this silk screen printed dress. The dress is accented with a collection of rhinestones strategically placed at the ruched waist and strapless bodice. This dress flows into a back sweep that adds drama and class. The spectacular gray and white palm print gown is elegant for any special occasion. Oh, Trish, don't forget to pack this dress on your next trip to the Caribbean. Have fun. Trish Brinkley.
Well, here comes the bride again. This is Laura Frame. This outfit is from a perfect dress, an elegant but simple look created by the strapless silk taffeta fit and flare gown. That's gotta let's let that music play. The ivory gown has a modified sweetheart neckline, an asymmetrical bodice and waist, shown with optional applique jeweled sash. The tiered ruffled skirt gathers to form a large silk taffeta bias cut flower on the right side of the skirt. Covered buttons adorn the back of the dress with a chapel train. Laura looks stunning and the gown reflects her character, confidence, and beauty. Laura, the new letter for your kindergarten class today is B for beautiful. <laughs> Laura Frame. Some of you may know I'm a real nut when it comes to British history and study it all the time and am fascinated by it. So it is only appropriate that Dr. Rachel Ross is here. The Duchess of Cambridge wore lace on her visit to the United States. Since that visit, designers have been working feverishly to recreate the perfect lace dress. Here it is. Dr. Ross has it. She's wearing... She is wearing a formal gown with black embroidered lace over champagne charmeuse. The beautiful strapless dress is accented with a beaded bodice, lace hemline, and black charmeuse back panel. The jewelry is by Kayla Designs. Whether mother of the bride or attending an evening affair, Dr. Ross will surely turn heads and be the topic of discussion the next day. She looks great. It's from a perfect dress. And believe it or not, this is our last model. This is Lauren Maloney. The outfit is from a perfect dress. As her father helps her, no, it's not really. Her older brother, Lauren, Lauren is wearing an ivory silk tap and a sweetheart necklace, neckline gown. The dress has a ruched bodice and asymmetri asymmetrical dropped waist. Feminine floral accents abound and dance across this um, voluminous skirt and chapel train. The dress exemplifies vintage elegance and sophistication. The bride's couture, bet you thought I didn't know that one. The couture hairpiece is inspired by Hollywood glamour. It's a silk taffeta flower with wired tool and Swarovski crystals. The gown takes us back to an era of romance and extravagance. Lauren is exquisite in this gown that showcases her grace and beauty. Her, her first graders would love to see how she looks today. That outfit is from a perfect dress. Okay, normally what we do is we have a lot of the models, we have everybody come back out, but they also want me to do one other thing. We want to recognize some of the owners of the stores that are here today. Maya Smith from Maya's. Melissa Gardner from Ann's in Concord. Brenda Neely from A Perfect Dress. Deborah Bowman from Attractions on Main. And my downtown neighbor, Pam Cofield from A Stitching Post. Rosemary from Belk in the Salisbury Mall. Let's get them all out there.